what if our machines do become hugely more intelligent than we are? And, and I'm not talking like two times or five times. I'm talking a trillion, trillion times, because this is what physics allows. See, I'm not just a computer scientist as a, as a professor of computer science, but my background and my strong interest today still is pure mathematics and mathematical physics. So, so I'm a numbers guy. When I look at the numbers, you know, the potential computing capacity of future technologies, it's, it's you know, these huge numbers come out, trillions of trillions and so on. So humanity sooner or later has to decide, do we, as a species, do we build gods or do we build our potential exterminators? And that, that, that question, you know, you know, I'll put it in four words, see if you get the camera angle. Should humanity build artifacts? An, an artifact is an artificial intellect. In other words, a godlike, massively intelligent machine, which, which is coming. It's only a question of time. But every time you take a technology that's a thousand times smaller than the previous one, like when you went from microtech to nanotech, so from a, a micrometer, that's a millionth of a meter, to, to uh, a nanometer and the technology at that scale, a nanometer, that's the scale of molecules. So nanotech is molecular scale machines. That's what life is. If you look at a cell, it's, it's like, like a city of molecules, you know, millions of them. That's a cell. So life is uh, nanotech. Well, uh, a couple of years back, I was toying with the idea, how, how could there be like a pico, that's like the next level down, a, a thousand times slower? Could there be a pico tech? And I think the answer is no, because nature doesn't provide anything. It's just nothing there at that scale. You have to go down another layer, uh, a factor of a thousand, to femto tech, uh, so a femtometer, and that's the scale of the nucleus and protons and neutrons and quarks and gluons and all that stuff. So. <clears throat> I, I set myself the task of trying to figure out how to compute at the Fento scale and then how to do engineering. So if you jump from uh, nanotech, so uh, a billionth of a meter, right down to a Fento meter, that's, that's a, a million, you know, a thousand times a thousand, a million times smaller. Well, then uh, the, the capacity of your... Um, technology that you have at that scale goes up by a trillion, trillion. And if you go down another factor of a thousand, then you get to atto, A-T-T-O, atotech, and then you multiply it again by another factor of a trillion. And why a trillion? Because if you, like, I could have got to get this in the camera. So if you, if you make everything a thousand times smaller, You've now got a, like a thousand objects in that in a line along, let's say, the x-axis, and you've got a thousand times more you know, the y-axis, and a thousand times that way in the z-axis. So you've got a thousand by a thousand by a thousand. So that's, that's a billion more components in that unit volume right. than you did with the higher level. And because everything's a thousand times closer together, the signaling speeds between the two of them goes up by a thousand. So the total uh, working capacity of that technology that's a thousand times smaller is uh, the density is a billion times a thousand. And so hence a trillion. So the, what, what I'm trying to say, the bottom line is the technologies that are coming this century are so fantastically superior to, to what we are with, with our nanotech with with our molecular machines in our cells and so on, that it's it's only a question of time before humanity is forced to choose. Do do we as human beings do we remain the dominant species or not? And if you look at like the big picture out there in space, there there are what trillion trillion stars, and our solar system is what four point six billion years old. The universe is thirteen point eight which coincidentally is exactly three times the age of our solar system. It's three times 4.6 is 13.8. So that means out there, 
uh, solar systems, suns, planets, billions of years older than we are. So they've had all this time to evolve. Now, the laws of one of the greatest discoveries made in the 19th century was that the laws of physics are the same throughout the universe. Right? The, the same carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, blah, blah, blah. So very, and, and virtually every sun, except the very first ones, but pretty well nowadays, virtually every sun has planets. And some of them will be warm and not too hot or too cold, you know, the Goldilocks uh, range. And so probably life, at least bacterial life, is, is, is virtually everywhere. And they've had billions of years more time than we've had to to evolve. So I wouldn't be at all surprised that the transition that humanity's about to go through from biological to, and well, this is coin a word, intellectual, has already happened out there. The billions of times, and we're we're just catching up. We're we're a latecomer. It, now that's just a hunch, of course. We have no proof, but it but it does sound plausible, because uh, you know, our our solar system is just a third of the age of the universe. So, so Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public, and he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast, it's going to be bloody, it's going to be nasty. But at the same time, he's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim. Watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's going to happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. I'm looking for partners, collaborators, colleagues who want to join forces with me around the globe and create real value, generational wealth, and financial freedom for everyone else around the world. Get involved in the cryptocurrency markets. Get involved in the NFT markets. This is your moment. Life all comes down to a few moments. Don't let this pass. Now it's not too late. Next year is going to be too late. Ultimately, this is about freedom. That's the way I see it. This is about giving power back to the people and enabling billions of people worldwide to use the financial markets to improve their lives and those of their friends and their families and their communities. Honestly, I think it's a violation of human rights not to allow people basic access to financial services. Because right now people are being kept in the dark, they're being robbed of education, and it's a travesty. And so I'm looking for people that wanna join me and be a part of this solution. And that all happens inside the DeFi Academy. The gains my students are making are absolutely amazing. Double, triple digit gains in the first month alone. That's amazing. This will change your life. Now is the time to get involved. I'm gonna tell you exactly how my students in my academy made money in the last 30 days. I'm talking about real trading results. And let me just whet your appetite a little bit. Let me hit you with some numbers. I'm talking Brendan from New Zealand is up 68.77% on the month. Steve from Europe up 83%. Albert in Singapore up 169.9% on one single trade. I got Susan up 153% on her call options alone. Also rocking 139% returns and 442% returns as well on individual trades. These are people that are changing their financial future in the last 30 days but it's based on trading discipline. I've graduated over 500 students from inside my academy from over 54 countries around the world. It's amazing. When it comes to crypto, DeFi, and blockchain, we love this space. We truly believe it's the future. This is down to our core. It's authentic to what we're doing, and everybody can tell through the camera because you can't make this stuff up. If you're watching me now, wherever you are, 
I implore you, take 60 seconds right now and join my academy, apply today. Now you've got a chance. Life all comes down to a few moments. What are you gonna do? What's the choice that you're going to make?